Yeah, Steve, we've documented the challenges so many businesses have had to navigate over the course of the pandemic, but there is hope moving forward. Well, I think the word to use for 2023 is normalization. After so many ups and downs, signs of stabilization, Tom Barkin, president and CEO of the Federal Reserve Bank of Richmond, addressing efforts to rein in inflation through interest rate hikes. And we learned this in the 70s is you've got to take care of inflation. You need to do it. Uh, aggressively and you need to do it definitively. After 30 year mortgage rates top 7% in November, they've slowly ticked down now at just over 6%. Still a wider market rebound may take some time. Even after today's rally, NASDAQ is down about 30% over the past year. The S&P about 17% and the Dow at around 7%. That's meant dwindling savings accounts. There's going to be times where we have to, we can only save a certain percentage because of those monthly bills. But always remember to still have that habit of saving. On the short end, for people who need more income, this is the first time in over a decade we've been able to get some pretty good yields in the bond market. So As efforts to diversify the state's industries have attracted a wide range of companies, maintaining the lifestyle that has drawn people to North Carolina in droves in the first place is key to maintaining momentum. I don't think our people and our workforce is resigning. I think they're reassessing. And as they go through that reassessment, we're learning more about what the challenges are, about child care, about housing, about how to get to places. And Steve, you moderated today's discussion. You and I had a chance to connect once it was all wrapped up. What was your key takeaway from what you heard inside here? Yeah, I was struck by Laura Ulrich. She's an economist for the Fed. She lives here in North Carolina. She goes around the state all the time talking to employers. And she said that she doesn't anticipate a lot of layoffs in North Carolina because employers have told her it's taken a lot of work to get their workforce in place and they don't want to lose them. What was your takeaway? Yeah, look, I think on that point, we're looking at overall optimism. That's a positive, but there was also recognition of some of the challenges that do exist and the need to address them. At four o'clock, uh, we heard about the shortage of skilled labor positions. NC Chamber trying to highlight efforts to enhance educational opportunities, specifically for adults looking to maybe transition to a different field uh, with our community college system. To your point on the skilled jobs, we understand so many people moved to this state. Uh, it took a lot of work for the, those companies to set up here, to expand operations here. They certainly don't want to lose those workers. Mm -hmm. I, I think the bright spot for us all to know is there are a lot of jobs open. This is a really robust economy, and I think we're in a good position uh, for the year ahead as we face some economic headwinds in the American economy. Thanks, Michael Perchik, live in RTP tonight.